Hello, welcome to this video series. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to take your PLR files that you've purchased or have gotten for free. I'm going to show you how to take those, edit them, insert a buy now button, and upload them so that you could be up and running and selling your products online. Okay, so uh, welcome to this video series and um, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to extract the files. And that's actually the first thing that you want to do when you download a PLR file so that you can edit uh, the contents of the sales page and other files and then upload them to your server. So what we're looking at here is a zip folder that I've downloaded and it's a PLR product. So what you want to do is just right click and then click on extract all on the drop down menu here. Actually, and that's what it should look like. I'm just going to cancel because I've actually already done it. Um, when you're done extracting the files, you will get a folder uh, that has the same name, but it's just not a zip file. So just double click on that. And as you can see, these are all the, the pages, uh, including the sales page, privacy policy. If you want, just double click on the sales page. And if you want to just get an idea of what it looks like when you upload it to the World Wide Web. Okay, so with that said, let's move on to the next video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the sales page by using a free editing software. All right, so the editing software I'm going to use is called NVU, and you can download that for free uh, by just going to Google and typing NVU. All right, and then just finding a site where you could download it. Uh, now I already have it downloaded on my site, so this is what it looks like. And once you have it downloaded and, op and opened, you just want to uh, open the page that you want to edit. So I'm looking at the folder here that I've extracted and I'm gonna edit the sales page copy okay I made a I've actually made a copy of the sales page and I've called it sales page copy for this demo so let's just open that page so this is what the page looks like so you could easily make edits to this page I could just say testing pause so it's you, you can make edits to this page just like you're editing a word document okay and as you can see up here you could uh, underline you can make words italic you can make them bold you could change the size of the font so this is you basically you're editing this as if it's a word document and then you would just save it and then upload it uh, to your server in this video I'm going to show you how to create the PayPal button so that you could add it to your sales page Right now I'm logged into my PayPal account and you're going to want to go to your merchant services tab here and once you click that you'll be brought to this page and you just click on the buy now button. Okay, I'm just waiting for the page to load. Okay, so as you can see you could choose a button type of buy now, donation, subscription. Uh, we're going to choose buy now here. Item name, you put the product name here. For this example, I'll just say testing. And item ID, this is optional. This is for your tracking purposes. I'm going to skip that. Uh, the price, uh, let's, for this example, let's just say $17. Currency, let's choose the most popular, which is US dollars. And here you can customize the button. Uh, so right now, this is what it looks like. You could add. Uh, your own image for example you could add the image from the actual sales page and add it here um, but for now I'm just gonna skip this and everything here looks good uh, step two: track inventory profit and loss optional uh, that I skip um, and then I just go to step three and there's only one change I met I make here on step three uh, which is where it asks you to uh, the link for download page. Um, you could skip all this if you like um, and that's what I'm going to do just for this example but usually I would uh, put a check mark here and I would insert the link the URL uh, to the download page so that when they finish paying 
uh, the customer is brought to the download page okay but for now I'm just gonna skip that and let's create the button so just press the button here where it says create button and there you go so this is the code that you're gonna add to your sales page and this is what it looks like in this video I'm gonna show you how to insert the PayPal payment button onto your sales page so what I'm looking at right here is is the PayPal button code that I just created in a previous video so I'm just gonna click on this and I'm just going to copy this alright and then I'm gonna to go to my MVU software where I have the sales page opened up and I'm just gonna insert it on this sales page Okay, and this is the way I would do it. I would just put a note here. Insert buy now button. And then I would just click on the source button here. and I would just look for that text that I just typed in so just give me one second here so it says right here insert buy now button so I'm just gonna highlight that and paste the code onto there and go back to normal just to see the change that I've made so there you go this is the buy now button uh, that I've created and I've added it onto here and I could also center that and as you can see it's doesn't look as nice as the other buy now button so if you do want to change the looks of it you just you know when you're creating the uh, the PayPal button go to that future where you're able to customize the look and make sure you have the URL of this image and then you could just add it onto there All right. In this video, I'm just going to quickly talk about FTPs, which is some, which is a server that you would use so that you could upload your pages and make them go live onto your website. All right. And what I want to talk about here is FileZilla. It's free. I right, just go to Google, type in FileZilla, and you can download it for free. And this is what it looks like once you've downloaded and opened it. Um, you're going to have to log in once you have it and to log in where it says the host here in this field you're going to type in your the name of your site uh, let's say it's abc.com but uh, in front of it instead of typing in www uh, you would as it says here you would type in ftp colon forward slash forward slash abc.com okay and then your username and your password and this is username and password that you created when you open up your hosting account okay so right now I'm logged in on the left side here you can see our files these are files on my computer and on the right side is the files on that are uploaded to my website so let's just click on this and I'm not a techie so I don't know what these files mean the only thing that you need to know so for now is public HTML okay and that's where you would upload all your files so let's just see here okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a folder where I could upload the files from that uh, PLR folder that I'm working on for this demonstration so I'm just going to right click create directory and I'm just going to name the folder test demo PLR okay 
Okay, and that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. In this video, I'm going to upload my website through my FTP. So, on the left hand side here, you can see all the files in my PLR folder, the reseller files, and I'm just going to highlight all of them. And just drag them over to the new folder that, that I created in the previous video. And I'm just going to pause this video and come back when all these... Oh, actually, that was pretty quick. All the pages have been uploaded now. So we could actually type in, go online, type in the, the website, and we could see what the sales page looks like. So uh, the folder that I created here is test demo PLR. So when I go to um, to the internet, I would just type in first the name of the domain. So if it's abc.com, you would type that in. But for this example, it's going to be francisauctiontips.com forward slash test demo PLR forward slash uh, the page that you want to look at. Okay, so let me just quickly do that here. Test demo PLR, because uh, as you can see, that's the name of the folder. And then sales copy. Sales page, copy.html. Okay, and there you go. All right, you could scroll down and you can see the changes that I've made. Right here is that little button that I created. All right, so simple as that. I've uh, uploaded uh, my sales page. And to, to make sure that you have all your images showing here, um, you know, make sure that you also upload your images. As you can see here, there's an images folder that contains all the images uh, that are showing on the sales page and other pages. In this last video, I just want to remind you to create a separate folder for the products that you're selling, for the download products. So what you want to do here in this new folder that, that I created where I've uploaded my reseller files, the website, and so on, is you want to create a new folder see, and call it something like download page or downloads or DL. I'll just call it downloads for now. Okay, so I've just created a new folder inside this folder. And so what you're going to want to do is go to the left side here, look for the, the product files, the products that you're selling, and up, transfer them or drag them over to the download folder here. And once you have them in this folder, uh, you could just insert the links, the URL links into the download page and then upload your download page to this website folder.